Hey guys and welcome to another edition of Burton Ballers. So this is my player, I won't be doing a player watch actually. I'm going to be doing a manager watch today after our disappointing 1-0 defeat against Manchester City. So guys, it wasn't great yesterday. We got beat 1-0 by Manchester City, as you all know. And we weren't great, were we? Um, first of all, credit to Manchester City, though. They pressed really hard. They came and played with determination after losing three times in a row to Chelsea. They had a point to prove and they, they, they really pressed us aggressively. When they had the ball, they used it well. They used it intelligently and they kept good possession. But we kind of played into their hands as well. So today I'm going to be sort of focusing on the tactics of Thomas Tuchel and um, why I think we actually lost the match today. Um, sorry, on yesterday. So uh, Thomas Tuchel set up with the 5-3-2, which I kind of sort of uh, mentioned in my preview video um, on, on Friday. So I said he, he may try the, the, the 5-3-2 because um, it kind of it worked in the second half against uh, Tottenham Hotspur, but kind of in hindsight, there's that there was this whenever we play with the the, the three of Kovacic, Jorginho, and Kante in the midfield, we kind of lack that bit of uh, creativity going forward and there was a disconnect between the the midfield and the attack i think if we next if we are going to be playing of, of, of five three two in the future then i think we'll need to play somebody like a ruben loftus cheek um as one of the three because he's somebody you can drive in between the lines he's someone you can create who can score goals so you know um we we were a way too I think defensive in our approach and and we feared Manchester City. I don't know why we feared them. We because we've beaten them in our last three games. So to we just played them. We gave them a bit too much respect. I thought and we just when they and also when they were um, pressing us and we weren't getting past that press. We didn't play a bit longer. We didn't play the ball longer or accurately enough to Werner or Lukaku. Um, and Lukaku wasn't great yesterday, but he was feeding off scraps most of the time. And so it's hard to play in that when you know you're not really getting a lot of service. And when the ball did come his way a couple of times, he miscontrolled it a couple of times. But you know he's he needed to be on point all the time in those games. So when you're struggling to get possession it's really hard when the ball does come your way to to do anything with it so but what Tuchel could have done should have done in my opinion was so he saw the first half it was nil nil still but he was probably content with um nil nil trying to hold out for a little bit and try and catch man city on the break but um he should have made that change at the beginning of the second half by bringing on a ruben loftus cheek because um, by keeping it the same, it became more of the same. Manchester City dominating possession, still um, uh, winning the ball off us with their press. And you know, it was only a matter of time. It was if, not when, um, they will score a goal. OK, the goal was um, somewhat for fortuitous with the deflection. But... Um, when that goal went in, it was game over. I knew it was game over. Yeah, we did score that offside goal by Lukaku, but I just couldn't see us getting back into the game after that because you're in a kind of defensive mindset. And if, after the goal, OK, some people may say that Manchester City didn't press aggressively. They dropped back to uh, sat back on us to allow us to play a bit more. But we did play. We came out of our shell and we started to play football. Had we started the game like that with a bit of bravery, then I think we'd have done better in the Champions League. You know, although we were organised, but we were brave in possession. We were up the pitch um, a bit more, higher up the pitch against them in the, in the Champions League. And that's why we, we got that positive result. Um, we were lacking uh, Mason Mount yesterday. So for all those Mason Mount haters, um, this is what happens when he's not in the side. You appreciate a player more when he's not playing than when he is playing. 
um, because Mason Mount would have given us that extra drive, the extra energy uh, that we need in, in the middle of the park. Um, and also a mistake by Tuchel after the, in, in this press conference he said that there was a couple of players who were carrying injuries if they're carrying injuries what are you doing playing them that's what we got squad for utilise that squad lost his cheek who had a brilliant game uh, in the, um, against Aston Villa in, in the cup why didn't you start him start with him then he's fit he's ready to go play him from the off don't play players who are half fit because Kante didn't look fit today this, is, this isn't the Kante that we normally see Jorginho was off the pace. I'm not sure whether it was, it was a fitness issue or the fact that when teams press him high, uh, press him hard, he, 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 he just doesn't gain that control over the game anymore and he makes enforced errors. So, but he, he was off the pace. All our midfield was off the pace, really. So, and maybe it's because they were overplayed in, in, in the Euros and they're feeling a bit jaded now, but we have got that squad. You know, to, you know, so I'd like to see Ruben Oster Chief from the start. I wish now in the game against Villa and the, and the cameo he had yesterday, he needs to start um, um, start games. And even if it's a rotation midfield, he has to start playing games now. He's done enough now to prove that he can um, he can offer us quite a lot. The way that um, his, his, his fifteen minute cameo actually was. He was the best midfielder in that 15-minute spell than all the other midfielders for, who, who played the full 90 minutes or, or most of the game. And that goes to show how poor our midfield were. But he was, the, the, what I liked about him, he gives us that power, he gives us that drive. I remember once when he just pushed Foden out of the way, Foden bounced off him. And man, a lot of the Manchester City players were bouncing off him. And um, he, he's, as I said, he can... He's, he's, uh, the Man City players we looked like we were a bit weak yesterday because they were pushing us off the ball at ease a loft of cheek in there doesn't allow that to happen and for those people who said we don't need the likes of like a Declan Rice or a Chuameni or someone like that these are the games where we do need people like the Rices and the Chumenes, these powerhouse midfielders. Can you imagine Rice alongside Loftus Cheek yesterday in the middle of the park? Manchester City won't be, have been able to do the sort of stuff that they were doing to our midfield, bullying them and pushing them around. Um, but you know what? Uh, the Man City are a quality side and they proved their, their worth yesterday. So I'm not pushing the panic button. I'm not saying Tuchel out like some people are just getting you know, moaning about Tuchel after this performance. He's, you know, he's, he's, this is a learning process. Hopefully he's learned a little bit from it. And, you know, we are still second in the, or third in the league. We're only a point off the top against Liverpool. And you know what? We've played already in our first six matches we've played away games against Tottenham against Arsenal against Liverpool and we've played a home game against Manchester City so those are some of the tougher games even Villa I think is going to do well this season they are a very you know, they're a very tricky side to play against so we've had some some difficult matches in our first, in our opening round of games so um, the, the, the points tally that we've got at the moment is is, is reasonable you know and I think if we can get results against the so-called lesser teams and, and build up our points tally then, then we can still um, mount a great title challenge. So guys, what do you think? What are your um, thoughts and opinions of yesterday's game? Was it two curls for? Was it the players for? Or a bit of both? Who do you think were the poor performers yesterday? Who do you think were the standout performance, performers yesterday? Um, stick your comments in the section below. Before I go, I just got to say a big shout out to uh, Mendy, who was superb in goal yesterday. Had it not been for Mendy, then I think we could have conceded another two or three. And I think Rudiger and Christensen also played well in the defence. Um, even Asper Lequetti, mainly the midfield and the front lot, who, who let us down, and the tactics, in my opinion. So until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.